Woody Womack joined by Chad Simmons. Big day, big commitment, Chad. Jaquincy, Kool-Aid, McKinstry, one of the top uh, DBs in the country, commits to Alabama. Tell us how it all came together and how he ended up with the Tide. Yeah, Woody, I think he surprised some people. I think, you know, I think Bama picked up some buzz maybe a few days ahead of his commitment, but I think you asked people – a week ago, a month ago, two months ago, they would have said Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. I had guys, I was at games in Alabama on Thursday, and it was a big game, Pleasant Grove against Ramsey, and players from other teams were there. They come up to me and say, hey, where's, where's Kool-Aid going? I say, I can't say, man. I say, what do you think? They all, every one of them said Auburn, I, probably eight or nine. They all said Auburn. So uh, a big gift for Alabama, I think just the persistence and the consistency and just what Bama does, the what they put on the field helped them win out for McKinstry. And, you know, he had that connection with Auburn, obviously Bo Nix, who played for Bo's father at Pinson Valley for a couple of years. And, you know, he wants to play at least two, two sports for at least a year or two and see what happens with basketball and football. And Bruce Pearl was very involved for Auburn there, recruiting him for the basketball side. And he connected there uh, as well. But just when it came down to it, man, Nick Saban at Alabama, what they do week in, week out, the product they put on the field, how they develop players, his ultimate goal is to play in the NFL, and he just felt Bama was the right fit for him. Uh, pardon the pun, but when when do you think it changed? Because like you said, every week, we all thought it was Auburn. When did, when did the tide turn uh, in favor of Alabama? Yeah, I mean, he told me probably roughly around three or four weeks ago is kind of when he kind of – I don't want to say went into doubt, you know, about Auburn, but just had maybe more – more, I guess, interest at a different level for Alabama. They've always been there. I mean, when you people ask me when he first started getting recruited, you know, two or three years ago, people felt, you know, Bama was the instant favorite, you know, but over time, you know, people talked about him maybe leaving the state for Clemson or LSU. Uh, they were way up there for him and he likes what Clemson did. And he, he visited there five or six times before, before he even had the offer. He was at Clemson half a dozen times. So people thought they were involved too, but Bama was always – a school people talked about and they knew what was a serious contender. Um, but I, I would say, I think you don't want to say this too much that one or two games change things for players, for recruits. But I think in this season, 2020 is a different year. There's not that face to face time visit wise. And I think him watching Alabama every week and him watching Auburn every week, I just think it gave him questions about Auburn when it comes to how he fits in, maybe the coaching staff long term and just the potential development where he knows under Saban, he loves Carl Scott, the DB coach there and what they do week in and week out, ultimately year in and year out, I think pushed him to the top probably during this season. You mentioned he wants to play basketball. He's a pretty good basketball player. We hear a lot of kids say that. I mean, do you, do you think he's, do you think he plays one minute of basketball for Alabama's basketball team? Yes or no? I say no. You know, I mean, that's just, I know and that my, my question about him really about from even just from a player standpoint and talent and just how good he is and what he can be at Alabama is can he take that love he has for basketball and translate that over to football. I mean, if he ever gave his whole entire body and heart and just talent to football, uh, that's been the question. I mean, how much does he love football? We, we know he talks about basketball. He loves basketball. He wants to play basketball. He could easily leave early in December, go to Tuscaloosa, get on the depth chart in the spring and all that, but he's going to stay and play. Of course, you know, he's a good basketball player in high school and he, he put that into his consideration about his schools. But uh, again, if I had to guess, I think Nick Saban will get a hold of him real quick and show him what he can be if he goes all in with football. And I think he'll go hopefully all in, you know, next fall. Uh, well, it sounds like me at the rivals camps, always talking about basketball. When we're out there at the, at the Not just the camp, but the combines too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at Alabama, he, you think he's just strictly a corner, right? He's going to, that's going to be kind of his role. Well, it's interesting. You know, I talked to his head coach and his head coach is Sam Shade, former Alabama player, who he thought himself when I was there actually getting the story by him going to Alabama, Shade thought he was going to Auburn also. So I'm not I'm not sure when he found out about where he was going. But um, Sam said when he came over and took the job at Pinson Valley back in the spring, he left Georgia State as an assistant coach, come back to high school. When he first started, he didn't know a whole lot about McKinstry, put, put on the tape and he said, man, I'm shocked that he told me that he's shocked that no schools were calling him about him as a wide receiver. He's a very good receiver. And in, in today's game, 
at Pinson Valley, every day at practice, he goes 75, 80% offense and 20, 25% defense. Now, he plays corner, played free safety for them this year too, uh, but full-time receiver. So I do think he can play as a defensive back. He could be a corner. He could be that star money position. He could also be a free safety. So I think he'll start out as a corner, but – I mean, he's as talented offensively as well, even though all schools went in on him because he is that six foot long athlete as a cornerback. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Chad. Be sure to check out BamaInsider.com, our Alabama site where you can find all of the complete coverage from uh, Kool-Aid's commitment to Alabama.